High five, VPG Nation. Welcome to the first episode of Dr. Robert's Readerhood. Won't you please, won't you please, please won't you be a reader? Why do we say that? Pediatricians love books. Or actually, pediatricians love for our patients to read books. Reading them to themselves, reading out loud, having their family read to them. Why? Why do we like it? Because books make you smart. And it starts at a young age. It's amazing how books and reading can really turn on your mind and your thinking. And so, to encourage that and promote that, I'm going to read a couple passages or excerpts from some of my favorite books or poems um, that I've run into over my lifetime. If you like them, check them out. Or it might inspire you to check out another book. I just finished a busy day in the office, and so I'm going to just sit down here, change my shoes out, and uh, start with a book. And I'd like to give a shout out to all the students and the teachers who have weathered a school year that was upended and unlike any that we've ever known. So I thought it would be appropriate to start with one of my favorite books from Robert Fulgham. All I Really Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but let's just start with a, kind of the, uh, the core of the book. This is Robert Fulgham, not me. I realized then that I already know most of what's necessary to live a meaningful life, that it isn't all that complicated. I know it and have known it for a long, long time. Living it, well, that's another matter, yes? Here's my credo. All I really need to know about how to live and what to do and how to be, I learned in kindergarten. Wisdom was not at the top of the graduate school mountain, but there in the sand pile. These are the things I learned. Share everything. Play fair. Don't hit people. Put things back where you found them. Clean up your own mess. Don't take things that aren't yours. Say you're sorry when you hurt somebody. Wash your hands before you eat. And nowadays, about 10 or 20 or 100 times a day. Flush. Warm cookies and cold milk are good for you. But don't tell them your doctor said that. Live a balanced life. Learn some and think some and draw and paint and sing and dance and play and work every day some. Take a nap every afternoon. That would be marvelous. When you go out into the world, watch out for traffic, hold hands, and stick together. Although these days we may have to have gloves on. Be aware of wonder. Remember the little seed in the styrofoam cup. The roots go down, the plants go up, and nobody really knows how or why, but we are all like that. Robert Fulgham has written many books. I'd recommend any of them to you. It's mostly for kind of high schoolers or older middle schoolers or parents. Uh, and it's just his musings. And I think he subtitles it, Uncommon Thoughts on Common Things. So again, a shout out to all the kindergartners, the kindergartner teachers, all the teachers, all the students. Thank you for all that you're doing, for all of your hard work. And I look forward to touching base with you soon with another episode of Dr. Robert's Readerhood. Thanks. Take care. Stay healthy and stay safe.